What's up guys? This is uh, Muddy Skies and I'm going to do a tutorial on using the Tower app with my uh, 3DR Solo. So first you're going to need to make sure that you're connected to your Solo with your app. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you need to make sure you connect, you do the connect button on the UDP and that'll get your video going and everything else. i uh, got to turn on the video camera first. Hero 4 Silver won't let you do it without. So you got to turn it on first. Or turn it on after you turn on the drone. Now, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to add um, waypoints to your location. It's super easy. First you're gonna hit the back button and then hit the menu or the three little bars in the top left and go to editor. Now in editor this is where the fun starts. As you can see my location there is a waypoint drop, the first one. The little squiggly line is where you can make a continuous route. The next one is a select function, and the next thing is your delete and, of course, uh, backup or undo. I like to start off by using the squiggly and just kind of planning a route. So first, you need to kind of you know get the screen to where you want, and then do the squiggly line, put it kind of close to where you want, and just start drawing. Just draw it out what you want the thing to do. And so I'm going to have it go around and come right back. And as you see, it drops everything in there. I have it pre-defaulted to go to 100 feet. That kind of keeps you clear of most things. Uh, you can have it come down lower than that. Uh, the next thing I do also is I drop in a couple of waypoints just randomly. But those I'm going to move around. So 13... Is sitting right over here on the number you just hold it and you'll feel it vibrate and then you can move it along to drop it to whatever point that you want and I always make that number one and my number one what I normally do is I adjust the um, I adjust the speed so change speed is what you want so on that little blue area where it says waypoint distance to home you can drop that down and do different types of um, settings. I would suggest to play around with them. They're actually pretty cool things that you can do on this. Um, I'm going to go back and do change speed. And I'm going to do the speed actually. I want it. I don't want to be screaming around this place. So we're going to do about 10 miles an hour. Total time it says it's going to take about a minute and 59 seconds. If you see that on the bottom right, it says distance 1747.8 feet, flight time 159. But let's say if we wanted to boost that up to, say, 22 miles an hour, it's only going to take 54 seconds to get around that. And, of course, so uh -oh, move the wrong, the wrong one. Um, also, if we move that up even farther, say 45, it's only going to take 26 seconds. So, anyway, again, I like to keep it around 10 miles an hour or so. It just depends on where you're at. If you're in a big open field and you want to scream around, rock and roll with it. So, anyway, now that we're done with that, um, and you can move and put waypoints and have it do circles and stuff. If you forgot to do something and you want to add another waypoint, let's say, let's say right here, I've got a big section between five and six. I want to add another one because sometimes it doesn't like to fly long distance without, uh, knowing where, um, it doesn't like to fly straight in a long distance. So I'll take that 14 now, hold it, and move it over between 5 and 6. And now I'll take and hold the waypoint, and you can move it. You can now move it. Let's say I want to get in a straight line. Or I want to come, hold it again, and I want to move it over the top of the building. So it'll, it, you can move it around and do whatever you want with it. So anyway, you get to that point, and let's say we're done, okay? Now on the bottom right, there's the three dots. Um, that there, you're going to upload mission. You always have to do upload mission. You can only upload it if 
that 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 is there only whenever you're connected to the drone so you would do upload mission and as you will see it wants to say do you want to put a takeoff and a return to launch in your mission and i always do because i like to come back right here i don't want it to just jump off somewhere so i'm going to say yes okay and then um after a couple of seconds you should be good to go and now what you'd go is on the top left there is i'm sorry at the bottom left there's a three little menu button go back to vehicle data <clears throat> and you do arm push the little arm slide that over and that will start up your drone <clears throat> and then do automatic automatic it will just do everything by itself take off fly around come back and land or you can do it by yourself so I always I just do that again play around with it uh, my, my drone cut off because I waited too long so I'm gonna do it real quick here so I'm gonna go ahead and go here we go start it up automatic always keep your hand ready over the, the and always watch what's going on and you can follow your drone right along with what's what's going on here so we're at about 98 feet and she's off off to the races to number one going down to number i'm sorry not number one that was number what three four it's going to four now and you can get as extravagant i mean you can have 40 waypoints you can have it, uh, there's other videos out there on YouTube that will show you how to make it go distances where it will, if it loses command with your uh, controller, it'll still continue on with the mission. So you could actually have it go to areas where you don't even have the control over it. You don't have line of sight, which of course FAA does not let you do that, or you're not supposed to do that. So. Always follow all the FAA rules, no more than 400 feet in the air, not over public places, not over uh, proper property. So as you can see, she's going right along to the, to the next. And um, it's really, this tower app is just amazing what it can do. Now this is fixing to go over the top of this building on the other side, and I don't have line of sight is probably going to lose connection with me and I will bet that it comes right back to me. Let's see how the old girl does. I've still got a signal and it's getting weaker. Still getting weaker. I've got like one dot on there. She's coming back around. Oh, she's going to make it. That's pretty cool. And it looks like I did a little squirrely key right there. So 13 is going to come over a little bit. She's going to go back to 14 and then come back to 15. Um, putting the old girl into the paces here, it looks like. So here she comes back to where I'm at, just on the other side of this building. I'm going to tilt down. You can see me standing right here on the corner. And then she's going to go to her normal 100 feet, which is the return to launch. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, return to home. And in the process of it flying around, you can actually, I believe, make adjustments to it. Like you can make it uh, turn left and right a little bit. If you see that it's not coming down correctly, you can adjust it away from buildings. So always remember that. Anyway, I hope that you uh, you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Give a shout out to my boy uh, Drone Worship. Amazing videos, lots of knowledge. Thanks a lot.